Hey guys, today's video is a Dollar Tree haul and I have some amazing high-end Christmas finds to share with you guys. Welcome back to Ria's World of Ideas. If you are new to my channel, I am Ria, and on my channel I love sharing all the ideas that I find helpful in my life at home, and hopefully you'll find them helpful in your life at home as well. So if you're not a subscriber already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave this video, and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're always notified on all the new videos that I put out. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed it so that I'm able to bring more videos to you guys in the future that you guys would like. So with all that being said, let's just jump into today's video. And like I said, today is a Dollar Tree haul because I have some amazing new, like high-end Christmas finds to share with you guys. I haven't done a Dollar Tree haul in a while because I've been trying to stay out of Dollar Tree because I spend so much during the fall time. But guys, Dollar Tree is stepping up their game once again when it came to the Christmas stuff, just like they did the fall stuff. So let's jump right in. Now, there is some things that um, I picked up that's not Christmas. Most of the stuff here is Christmas, but there is like three things that are not Christmas, two of them that could be for Christmas. So I'm gonna share that with you first. So the first thing was I found this electric pencil sharpener. Um, they come in three different colors. They had this pink one, blue one, and a black one. And I was gonna get like one each for like me and my daughter so they can have it in like their room in their office, but I wasn't quite sure how great this will work. So I picked up one. Hopefully I won't live to regret it because sometimes you won't see them again. But I picked up one so I could try it and I will get, keep you guys posted on this. Just follow me on Instagram if you're not following me already because then I'll keep you guys posted on Instagram stories if this actually works. Um, but yeah, I, hopefully it does. And if it does, I'll pick up some more for my kiddos. The next two things that is not Christmas related but can be for Christmas time is these gorgeous high-end looking vases that they have at Dollar Tree right now. For one, we know that Dollar Tree, when they bring out vases that look this nice, they're pretty small. But as you can see, this one, these two are like really big. They're like bigger than the size of my hand or like kind of the size of my hand. But they're really big and the detail on them is so gorgeous. Now, why I said you can use it for Christmas is because for me, I am going with like a black and white theme lately with decorating uh, my home. And this year for Christmas, my theme is basically traditional red and white and then the, you know, the natural greens. But then I'm also going to throw in black too because I like that modern look of black and white. So that's why I could say, that's why I said it could be for Christmas. So this is the detailing on it. Um, hopefully you can see it. Sometimes the light, my lights um, with the white one doesn't pick up so well. So I'll show you the black one in just a minute. But this is the detailing on it and it's so gorgeous. And I know that the Target dollar spot has vases like this all the time and they sell them for like three or five dollars. And then if you look in the Joanna Gaines line and also that threshold line, I think in um, Target, they would sell this for like about 15 to 20 bucks, guys. And they have this exact same thing at Dollar Tree for a dollar. So this is the black one. Hopefully you can see the detail in a little bit more better with this one. They also had a blue color one, which was not like a navy blue or like a regular blue. It was like kind of in the middle. And then there was one other color, but I can't remember what the color was, but there is one other color. And you can grab any one you want to spray paint it to be whatever color you want. If you're still decorating for fall right now, you could definitely put those like um, orange colors or those auburn colors that, you know, all the colors for fall and make it for fall. But I love the fact that I didn't even have to spray paint this. So it was basically a dollar. I didn't have to spend no extra money because it came so high and looking. These are, I was so impressed that I found them because stuff like this flies off the shelf so fast. And another thing that I'm going to, um, that is, well, it's not Christmas related because it wasn't in the Christmas section, but I feel like it's Christmas related because of the words that it has on it. And this was in the Crafter Square. It's one of the Robon transfers. You guys know I love the Robon transfers. I do not have a Cricut. Uh, I'm not sure. I always debate if I want to get a Cricut because I don't know if it's worth it. If you do have a Cricut, let me know in the comments down below. Is it worth it to buy one? Um, and is it does it take a long time to learn it? Because I'm like so afraid to learn all the stuff that the Cricut has. Um, so I don't have one. So I always buy these... Um, these rub on transfers and this one is the gold one and you guys know that I like to decorate with gold also for Christmas and it comes with let me see if I could put it in here oh, here we go so I'm gonna show you guys it so that I'm gonna I'm tilting it so that my boxes don't hit it where you guys can't see it but it has like joy which you can use for the holidays it has family blessings um, and a whole bunch of things um, I love mom so you can use this one not only for the holidays um, for Christmas, but for Valentine's Day, for Mother's Day. So this pack is a great deal to make so many different DIYs. And it even has a little house too as well if you want to do some farmhouse stuff. So I think this is so great. I love the rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree. They're really a good deal. 
Um, and then we're gonna move on to now the Christmas stuff. Now I do have all Christmas stuff that's left for Dollar Tree. And then at the end I have one more thing to share with you that I found at Walmart for, I think it was $1.98 or $1.48. So let's talk about the signs. Dollar Tree has brought out so many new signs and I did take pictures for you guys this time because guys, it, it was like so much. Like you guys just need to hit the stores because this is not even a quarter or like not even a little bit of what the new stuff they have. They have so many great things. And so they brought out some new signs. They brought some old signs. This one looks very high end to me. Like I said, all this stuff that I've been seeing is very high end. Look at this. This says peace on earth. It has the gold foil to it. It has that, um, that farmhouse country look which you guys know that in my bedroom i decorate farmhouse in gold so this sun was perfect to go in my um in my bedroom that's where i'm gonna decorate it at they do have another one um i think i took a picture of it if i did i'll put it up right here but they do have another one that says something else on it but i just like the look of the reindeer and the gold snowflakes this is just I don't have to DIY this. This is just beautiful on its own. But you can use this and redo it. Um, this board is very like sturdy. So if you want, and then it has like a border, you know, has this border right here. So if you did want to like, you know, use this for a DIY, this would be perfect. But this is something else that's just good on its own. That's why I said there's so many high end finds this year because you don't have to do anything to it. Most of the time we have to grab things and DIY it. But some of this stuff is ready to decorate with. And this sign is one of them. Another sign that I loved that I know it's gonna flap the shelves because everybody loves anything that has to do with the houses, especially like for farmhouse, but especially during Christmas time. And you can also do this for Halloween time. They have two different ones. I took a picture of the other one. This one has the white background. The other one has more of a beige kind of neutral tone. So I took a picture so you guys can see that one. This right here, I feel like it's good on its own. The only thing I was gonna do is I was gonna paint this part white because like I said, I'm going for a white, red, black theme this year. So this neutral tone is not what I would want. Not even if I put this in my bedroom, this is not the neutral tones I go with. I tend to go with the lighter ones. Um, I was gonna use this as is, but I found a DIY that I want to kind of uh, recreate. It's something that I saw that I know I could recreate that was at the stores for much, much more. So I'm probably gonna DIY this, but this right here is good on its own. The beautiful uh, wording on it. The glitter is, does, this is glittery writing, so it tends to rub off. So be careful with that, but this is good on its own. Um, oh, and then this part right here is 3D. So this right here is 3D, so it can come off. Um, so I have an idea for it. So hopefully it goes the way that I want it to be. So I am going to DIY this, but like I said, this could be good by itself. Um, another thing that was so high end looking, you know how we always buy the trees that they have there, which I have some to show you. Um, and we make like a little scene for it in like little jars or stuff like that. Guys, now they have this, this year where they have a tree in it. Um, it's a little jar. This jar, I think is more like kind of like rustic farmhouse or beach theme. So if you got like a Christmas beach theme that you're going for, cause a lot of you guys tell me that you have a beach theme all year round. This will be perfect for like a Christmas beachy theme or like a Hawaii theme or basically rustic farmhouse. So I think it can go for all of it. So what I love about this is that it's a beautiful jar on its own. It's a beautiful jar that you can actually turn this into a vase too as well. You can use it as jars to decorate with or turn it into a vase. Um, you can also take this and use it to organize things. If you would like, you wanted to organize things in your laundry room or in your, uh, you know, um, pantry. This is a beautiful jar. You can take all the things out and then have extra stuff. You know, I'm all about taking DIYs and like taking them apart and using them for multiple things. So this is one of those DIYs that's perfect. But I love the fact that it comes with one of these little uh, bottle brush trees. It comes with two of these little berries and then it also comes with the little pine cone and then they have like the little sand. Now this one is a green tree with a little like the flocking on it. They also had a silver tree as well. So if you're into the silver, that's a good, um, I, that's a, that's there too as well. But I, like I said, I'm into the green and white. This is such a good deal guys. And I know if you guys seen it somewhere else, it's going to go for way more. It's such a great deal. One thing that I saw that I, I passed up, but then I went back to another store and got it was these little, like they had these container tins. They have so many different ones. You got to go just check them out guys. Cause there's too many to take pictures of, but they had these little gingerbread ones. They have two sizes. They have this size and a bigger size than this. So at first I passed it up, but then I thought it would be so cute to put in my coffee bar. I think in my coffee bar this year, I'm gonna do a gingerbread theme because I feel like it just goes well with the coffee bar because you know, you're gonna have cookies with your coffee. And when I saw this, I thought this would be great for the tear tray. If you guys have seen my tear tray, that's I decorate different uh, for the holidays in my tear tray and my coffee bar. I thought this would be a good, a good little filler in my tear tray. Now, like I said, they have another size, but to me, the other side looks kind of 
wonky and weird because it's so it gets bigger it makes this part right here makes him look like fatter like on this part right here and it's just more stretched out and i feel like it just doesn't look right so for me the bigger size doesn't look right but you know you can do whatever you like you feel but like i said this is a 10 you can uh, use it for gifts or give people cookies and they have so many more tins out there too just go check it out um, I saw this little red pail and I have an idea for it. I thought it was so cute for like Christmas time. There's so many things that you could do with this little red pail. I did have some pails in the past, but you know, if I DIY it, I have to get spray paint and this one was already done. So I got that. They also have a bunch of these little like stand up gift boxes at Dollar Tree as well. They come in three different sizes. They have so many of them. I think there's four different designs that I saw. This one I fell in love with because it says farm fresh um, Christmas trees. And I just think this looks so high end that you can change this into a kind of DIY art for your house. And because it's on both sides, um, you could do two different DIYs. You can use them twice and for, you know, many DIYs and you can even use a side. What I like about this this year is that they put the little, um, they put the little ribbon on the side so when we are trying to recreate these for diys for like pictures or art we don't got to worry about the holes being there anymore and so it looks like a dollar tree diy so i like the fact that they did that but like i said this is the smaller size because i plan to use a smaller version of it but they do have a bigger size of this one and then let's just jump into the wood stuff that they have guys they have done so well with their crafters their craft stuff in dollar tree in the crafter square section just in general before the holidays a lot of these things i'm going to share with you guys have been at hobby lobby in different places for way more for years and now dollar tree has brought it to us one of the things that they brought which i didn't i wasn't able to find the pumpkins when they had this um and a lot of you guys were grabbing it but i didn't find it but i found the, the christmas ones so they have these um they just call them wood shapes. I got three of them. They're these thick wood shape uh, for different. They have different ones for the holiday. This one's the tree. Like I said, I, they had the pumpkin ones and I wasn't able to find it. Look how thick this is, guys. Look how thick it is. This is so perfect in any other Hobby Lobby or ho any hobby store. This would be more than just a dollar. And so the fact that Dollar Tree has these now for a dollar is amazing. I picked up three to do a the next video that you guys will see that DIY will be in that video with those trees. I also picked up the ornament one. I picked up two of these for the, um, this also thick. It's like a nice little round ornament. This is so pretty. And because they are unfinished wood, you can stain this so easily. And this one has like, some of these come with like the rough pattern. Like this one is like kind of rough. So you really do want to paint that one. Um, but then this one has like where you could actually see the nice little wood grain of the wood and it's so pretty and you can have it in its natural in its natural state. So when you are looking for these wood pieces to look at them because you got sometimes are some of them are better than the other ones. And like also with the Christmas tree, some of them um, they were chipping right there. Uh, there's like these chip marks. And so a couple I put back because they had chip marks. So just be careful and look at the stuff that you're looking at before you grab them because sometimes they're really rough with the stuff that they have. Um, this wasn't in the Christmas section, but I picked it up because I feel like you can do so many DIYs with this. This could be a beautiful uh, sign for Christmas tree. I mean for Christmas tree for Christmas time. And also it could be a stand for any of those poles or like signs that you're making for Christmas time. This would be a great um, like footer for those um for those like poles that you're making because it's so thick so i wanted to share that idea with you guys as well um and so that is for that thick wood now let's talk about the big pieces that they have so they have these that they've had them before but this year i grabbed a bunch of them because i have a diy in mind i have a couple diys in mind for these christmas trees so stay tuned that's gonna be my next video um and then so they have this, oh and then i forgot to tell you these they also have them in a star and they also have them in a there's another christmas shape but there's a star and then another christmas shape I, but i wanted to let you guys know that too this one has so many different shapes they have um an ornament but it's not the round ornament like the one i showed you like the thick one i wish it was but they didn't have the round ornament it's kind of like the, the weird shape they also have the santa claus and they also have um the snowman but this one I feel like is so great for DIYs. And again, the same thing with the other one I told you, look at their wood grains because some of them have beautiful wood grains that, um, that you know, you can, you don't have to like totally paint. Like this one is like, you can kind of see like the messed upness, the messed upness, the mess of like pieces of it doesn't look like as beautiful, like the wood grain. So you'd want to paint this whole thing. But then I was lucky to find these two pieces. Look at this one, this one, the wood grain on this one is so, I hope the camera's picking it up. It's so beautiful. Like this one, you can leave it in its natural state. Can you see that? 
the wood grain is so beautiful. So again, just when you're looking at the wood pieces, look through them so that you're getting, you know, the best bang, you know, for your buck. I thought I dropped something. The best bang for your buck when you're doing best bang for your buck when you're doing it. Also, they have the a bunch of color your own art, color your own ornaments. They had these last year, but this one I plan to do a DIY and I wanted to share with you guys. If you're ever looking for like a Christmas tree this size, then definitely, you know, get the color your own ornaments and you could take this and, you know, you can use it for your kids or you can just take it for yourself to do DIYs. I was only able to find one of this one, so this one's very popular. So if you want it, you know, definitely grab it. A new thing this year that I thought that was so amazing, not only for me to do a DIY, but was amazing for my kids as well, is these DIY 3D craft kits. These are awesome. And if you guys have seen my, um, one of my, I think it was not my last video, but the video before that, I shared with you guys like a fun, like the first day of October, I kicked it off and we made um, a bunch of October treats and we also had a craft night. And I just basically put all the little wood things that I've bought for Halloween and stuff like that in front of my girls and they got to just decorate however they wanted to. And I told you guys, that's the best thing to do a DIY with kids. When you don't have a plan, you just give them craft supplies and let them create. They have the best time as opposed to if you have a DIY mind of a picture of how it's supposed to be. And then if they can't do it like that, then they feel you know discouraged. But when you give them like the option to do it their own way, they love it. So when I saw this, I was like, this will be perfect for my kids for us to have another craft night. So there's three different ones that I saw. This one is actually going to, I'm going to keep it because I'm going to do a DIY um, home decor for you guys that I'm going to share with you guys. This one is like the trees and it comes with a little house. Uh, and then also, yeah, and then it also has like presents in it as well. So this one has that. And then this one is Santa and it has like Santa and then it has like the candy canes and also with trees as well. And then I don't know if you can see in the and then the bag though, but the bag has like a little stand on it. So it's a 3D, it's a 3D craft kit because it has like a little stand right here to, um, and I don't want to open them yet, but it has a little stand right here for you to um, put all the little things after you painted them in those little slots so they can stand up. And then they also have the snowman, which I'm going to let my girls decide which one, who wants the snowman and who wants the Santa and then they can, you know, decide then. Also that what I was so amazed by was guys, they had these sleighs, these, these, um, unfinished sleigh, sleds, sleighs, sleighs, sleds. They had these unfinished ones and look how huge they are guys. I was so surprised by this because like I said, normally Dollar Tree, when they bring out stuff for us, it's, they tend to be very small, but look how big these are. I love them. So this one right here, um, is, it looks like this in the front. And you could do so many things and then you could put a saying here if you want to, which I plan to do that. Um, but this is just amazing. I love the look of it. You can also just have it like, you know, sitting like that as well. But look at this leg. This is amazing. I love it. This one is bigger than that. The last one I just shared with you and it has more details to it. Look at this one. Love it. Can't believe it's like this huge. Look how huge this thing is for a dollar. So stay tuned for how I'm going to, you know, revamp that. They also had words. I only seen two words. So if you guys have seen more than two of the, they're called the wood words. If you see two, uh, more than these two, let me know in the comments down below so I can be able to look out for it. But all I saw was, and they come three in a pack. I saw believe. These are amazing to do DIYs in, and you get three for a dollar, guys. This is so great. So you don't have to worry about if you don't have a Cricut or you don't have, you know, a wood cutter. They have them for you at Dollar Tree for just a dollar. And then this one says let it snow. Again, if there's another saying, let me know, guys, so I can be on the lookout for it. Then they also had a bunch of these wood shapes, which I picked up this one. This is the gingerbread. Like I told you, I'm going to do a gingerbread theme on my coffee bar this year. And look at this. This comes with 14 pieces, guys. Normally, we have like eight pieces at the most. This comes with 14 pieces of these little gingerbread men. It is so adorable. And um, they also had the one that I saw. They also had bells, but people also posted that there's Christmas trees and something else, but I haven't seen it yet. And then, um, of course, I got a pack of these little Christmas trees. I'm not sure if I already have some from last year, but if I don't, I just wanted to be um, prepared because I have, like I said, I have some Christmas tree DIYs that I'm going to share with you guys. And then something new this year with these ornaments that I have a DIY in mind for it. And they come in four different colors, I believe. So they had them in white. These are like these little antlers. They had them in white, which is this one, silver, I believe like a bronzy brown gold bronzy brown and then they also had them red but these are so cute you get eight in a pack i plan to do a diy oh no you get six i plan to do a diy with this so stay tuned for that and then i have another bucket of stuff guys so 
Um, you guys know that the bottle brush trees, everybody's, is so very popular. So they always have this one. They've had them last year, um, but I decided to pick up some two packs of them. I picked up one at first, but I decided to pick up two packs because these go fast. And these at Target, they run about $3 each for them. So you want to grab them, especially the big ones I'm about to show you. So you get two in a pack for these. I think, I believe maybe that Target has these for a dollar. But I'm not sure. But the bigger ones, I know they have them for three dollars. So if you see these, grab them because they go fast at Dollar Tree. So I picked up two packs of the green one um, with the little like flocking on it, and then they also have them in white, which of course you know I'm doing my white, red, and green theme. So I had to pick up two of those as well. And then guys, this year's this year's. I'm so excited, guys. I can't even talk. I'm so excited. This year, I saw this. Somebody was haul to, um, hauled it. And I couldn't wait to find it in my stores. Look at these Christmas trees. I'm not sure if they had them last year. If they did, I wasn't able to find them. I know that they had them during like Halloween time. People were posting them, but they never came to my stores. Look how big this is. This is for a dollar. And at dollar at the Target dollar spot, they sell these for three dollars. And you can get them at Dollar Tree for a dollar. Of course, I picked up two of them. Um, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do a couple scenes with these little things. You can do so many things with these, like, and I just dropped it. You can do so many things with these bottle brush trees. So it's like the possibilities are endless. You can use it for tear trays. You can use them for a tray by itself. You could put them in like a open, like glow kind of vase and make like a little snowy scene. I mean, there's so many things that you could do with it. So they also had it in green with a little flock look. Um, so of course I had to get that. They also had it in silver as well. And during Halloween time, I think they had them in purple and black. That's what people were picking up. So I picked up two of those. And then I also picked up these glittery drapes. These are perfect to have them um, for your Christmas tree or any type of uh, scene that you're doing. If you're doing it on your mantle, if you're doing it around your window, if you're doing it on like a, uh, like I decorate my entranceway, like that table. If you're decorating that table and you want some of um, this little like glittery drape. I was trying to find just one that was not glittery, but this is the only one I could find. So I just grabbed it. I was like, I'll just suck it up. It just... It has the green and the red that I'm going for anyway. And then I'm a sucker for these little clips. These decorative clips, these are new this year. These are big berries that are in it and they have a bell in it as well. So you get like a little leaf, three of these big uh, berries and then you get a bell right there. And then the holly and the, um, just the regular greenery and then it's a clip. So I think this is such a great deal for a dollar and look how beautiful it is. I just, this is gorgeous. So high and looking so gorgeous i wonder if the, this looks like it got there it goes i was like uh, why is it getting blurry but look how gorgeous it is so gorgeous and then the last thing i'm going to share with you guys i think it's the last thing yes the last thing i'm going to share with you guys i found this at walmart for a dollar 48 look at these little sprigs at walmart for a dollar 48 you get these nice little green sprigs you get these little berries you get these pine cones and what i love about these is these are great to put anywhere but you can also take them apart and put them in DIYs whenever you're decorating a vase or when you're decorating any type of DIY, you could take these apart and use them. And so I think I might use one to take apart. I think I need to go back and get more because this is actually really pretty. I wasn't sure if like Dollar Tree had something like this. So that's why I grew up two of them first before I went to Dollar Tree because I, if Dollar Tree had you know better ones, I didn't want to you know stock up on these. But I haven't seen any at Dollar Tree that look like this yet. So let me know, correct me if I'm wrong, if they have something like this at Dollar Tree so that I could be on the lookout for it. But you know that's i grabbed it at walmart so that is it for my dollar tree haul i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments what was your favorite thing that i shared and are you are you excited for christmas are you getting ready for christmas i know it's early for me to be sharing um you know christmas stuff but the thing is when you're on youtube and stuff like that and when we're giving you guys videos and ideas we kind of got we kind of have to grab the things early we you, well if you're decorating anyway and you shop at dollar tree you need to grab stuff early because like right now a bunch of people that I knew, like my friends and my sisters and relatives and stuff like that, they've seen my 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 DIYs for fall and they've been trying to go to Dollar Tree to like actually recreate them. And um, I feel like I have glitter on my lip. But um, they've been trying to go to Dollar Tree to get some, you know, fall stuff and all of it is gone. And we're in the beginning of October and we still have October, November for fall season but most of the stuff in dollar tree is gone and they're pushing in christmas so it's like you have to grab the stuff as soon as you see them when you want to decorate it and then because we are youtubers and we make videos for you guys we have to put our videos out early because we want to give you the ideas early so that when you see things you can grab them and make them early and not be like trying to get things last minute like some, some you know what happened to my relatives and some of my friends so 
that's why I'm bringing this to you guys early. I know it's uh, it's early, but the, you know, I just want you guys to be prepared. If you're not ready for Christmas, that's okay. Just have this, you know, this video saved as your playlist so that you know what to look out for and just, you know, watch it so you can grab the things that you need. And then the next video that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is a Christmas DIY because I'm going to start on my Christmas DIYs for you guys this month so that you can be prepared if you're going to decorate for November 1st or after, you know, after Thanksgiving, which that's another thing, guys when are you guys going to decorate for Christmas? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you going to decorate November 1st for Christmas or are you going to wait till after Thanksgiving? I used to wait till after Thanksgiving before I was like a YouTuber and made videos. I used to wait till after Thanksgiving. That was like a tradition that we did. But because a, a lot of you guys um, want to see my ideas early, I think this year I might decorate. Um, I might do a, you know, take all the fall stuff down and do a clean with me and a clean and decorate with me at the beginning. And then I'm going to decorate probably the beginning of November for Christmas so that you guys can get ideas early so I'm gonna do that for y'all but normally I would do it after Thanksgiving because that was a tradition but you know this is what I do now and so I gotta do things early so let me know in the comments down below again what was your favorite thing that you that you that I share with you today what are you on the lookout for and also are you ready for Christmas are you not ready for Christmas and when are you gonna decorate for Christmas is it gonna be November 1st or is it gonna be after Thanksgiving and I'll catch you guys in my next video Bye guys. Hey guys, don't forget to click on the picture in the middle of the screen so you can subscribe to my channel and get notifications on all the new videos that I put out. And check out these other two videos that I have posted on my channel on either side of my picture. Have a great day.